Hello to all students. In this video lecture, we are going to discuss a disease which is known as rabies. Rabies is also known as hydrophobia or aquaphobia. Rabies or hydrophobia is a, is a zoonotic infection. What does zoonotic mean? Zoonotic means such infection which can spread through animals. That infection is known as zoonotic infection. The cause of uh, rabies is a virus which is RNA virus as you can see in this diagram. This is a diagram of a Lisa virus, rabies Lisa virus. It is a bullet shaped virus which contain an outer covering and inner core which contain its nucleic acid. The outer covering is made up of glycoproteins which has spikes on the surface of the uh, outer covering while just below the outer covering which is made up of glycoprotein there is a matrix and inside the matrix there is a core which is known as nucleocapsid which is made up of an RNA which can encode for, for five different types of proteins. The length of the virus is 180 nanometer and width of this virus is 75 nanometer wire. Very poisonous virus which can infect animals and human bodies and cause the symptoms of rabies which is also known as hydrophobia. So if we look at the symptoms of hydrophobia, the main symptoms are flu-like but as this disease progressive inside the body the symptoms get worse and the main symptoms which are fever headache nausea and vomiting agitation means shaking in the body parts anxiety and conf confusion hyperactivity difficulty in swallowing especially water and the patient or of rabies feel difficulty swallowing water and becomes fear of water that is why this disease is also known as hydrophobia excessive production of saliva and uh, hallucination there are also some other symptoms but it depends on the type of the infection and type of the patient so what causes uh, the symptoms of rabies the symptoms of rabies are caused by a virus which spreads through animals because it is a zoonotic infection and what are the means of transmission of this virus the first mean of transmission of this virus is saliva of infected animal if the animal has rabies virus and the animal bites some other animal or human being this virus can be transferred from one animal to another animal through saliva, through wound. So dogs and cats are the main uh, animals which spreads this virus. If the dog and the cat has virus of rabies, it can be transmitted from animal to other animals like horses, cows, buffaloes, etc. and other human beings. Other than dogs and cats, bats, coyotes, foxes, monkeys and some other animals may also be responsible for the transmission of this disease. But this virus can also be airborne and it can be transmitted by inhaling aerosolized virus which is present inside the air. This virus can also be spread through uh, by the transplant with infected virus. If the person has rabies virus in the liver or in the kidney and those parts of the body are transplanted to other human beings that can also lead to rabies. Inoculation through mucous membrane sometimes can also cause rabies virus. So when a virus enter inside the body through a wound, so there are different stages of the replication or the life cycle of this virus. The first stage of the infection is known as incubation phase. Incubation phase can last for few days to weeks, months and even years. In this case, virus replicates at wounds. It 
increases in the number how this virus when enters in the cells of the animal's body they break their outer covering they enter as a hole inside the cell breaks their outer covering their rna attacks the nucleus and the dna and synthesize their own glycoproteins and rna and buds off from those cells and one virus becomes trans uh, replicates into many new viruses so in this phase incubation phase virus replicates itself inside the body of the animals where wound is present the next stage is known as prodrome phase prodrome phase is the early stage of the symptoms of any disease so in this case we are discussing rabies so prodrome phase is the early stages of the symptoms of rabies virus virus starts to infect central nervous system which include brain and spinal cord this phase can last for 2 to 10 days and the last and the final stage of this virus is neurolog neurologic phase in this phase virus starts to attack on the cells of the nervous system and causes the symptoms which i already mentioned over here so what is the treatment of this virus if the virus has entered in the body and still at the incubation phase so the patient has to be admitted into the hospital and taken to the emergency room where the patient will be treated with rabies vaccine and also human rabies immune globin which is which are antibodies which are injected at the site of wounds which is also known as hrig these antibodies at wound and vaccine will help animal or human body to fight with this virus and to get rid of this virus from the body but this can only be possible if the virus is at incubation phase but if the virus has been entered in prodrome phase or neurological phase where it attacks on the nervous system or the cells of the nervous system then it is very difficult to treat that virus and the patient is going to die from this disease and the symptoms get worse so most of the people if they are not treated appropriately then the patient is going to die with this disease this disease is especially known as hydrophobia because in this disease a patient feels fear a very strong fear of water because uh, it is very difficult to swallow water so as the patient human being or animal sees water it it produces a great fear inside the mind of that patient and sometimes this fear can lead to the death of the patient so that is why this disease is also known as hydrophobia or aquaphobia that's all for today see you in the next lecture until then bye